Hi girls, I'm back again. Um, yeah, still waiting for nails to dry. I'm onto my second coat now. Um, still not up to the polish, but anyway, we're getting there. So, um, Cuddle Bum One, I'll link her down below. She is such an enabler. She was stirring me because I hadn't hauled anything from um, Limcraft when that when I showed that glitter display. So I've been thinking about it all weekend. I've been stewing over it. It's been torturing me all weekend. So if I get in trouble, if my husband checks the bank account, then it's all your fault. So um, without further ado, here's what I got. I got a very meager amount on Friday, I think it was, when I discovered these things. I just got the mixed spangles. Or they're kind of, um, I think they're more like sequins. So I've opened it and had a peek, and there's butterflies, music notes, and flowers in there. So all these glitters are 18 grams, and they're all three dollars, which is actually considered cheap here in Australia, believe it or not. And then the other thing I got on Friday were these two. I mean, Lincraft stocked these um, star spangles. So. But um, a reason I got those was because I wanted to, um, I'm stocking up on, I need a certain quantity of stars and hearts to make up little things for swaps with. Anyway, um, so here's what I picked up today. I've lost count, I think I got about 15 maybe of these tubes, I don't know. So I got these stars and they are called, what are they called? Hollow pink mix. Oh, they're mixed. Okay, they're mixed size holographic pink stars. I'm not using my phone today, so we shall see if I can actually get it to focus any better. And it doesn't look like it. Then I've got these teeny tiny little mixed stars. These ones are called Hollow Multi. Um, I don't think all of them are holographic, or maybe they are. I don't know, they're really nice anyway. And they're really small. Like, there's my nail, and there's one of the stars. And I don't have big nail beds either. I mean, they're not tiny, but they're certainly not big. So, this I was really excited. Um, this is the white just called white and this is in the medium and it's opaque white it's those glitter dots that some of the US girls have and it is opaque completely opaque by the looks of it I don't know if you can see it I don't know but anyway take my word for it it's opaque so I've got a um, one or two of each of the different grades that they had just to have a bit of a play and a bit of an experiment so this was the medium one and that's the URL they've got a full list of their products if you go to this website then click on the Australian one and then scrapbooking and then glitter and then they've got them all so I had a look there I mean my Lincraft as big as that display looks they didn't have everything so they had mostly super fine. Anyway, these are purple stars. Multi-size pink cards. Oh, is that a red one looking at me? Yep. Hollow pink mix. Um, yes, I got another one of these because I'm going to sift through them and separate them. I haven't yet tested if these bleed, some of these reject shop bulk glitters that I picked up. So see these, um, I've shown them in my dollar swap video. This pink bleeds, it's a gorgeous holographic pink and I'm completely devastated that it bleeds. The gold, silver and the turquoise don't bleed, so just a heads up on that. Red stars. Blue stars. This is cute. 
This is called Fairy Mix. It doesn't look particularly fairy-like to me, but it's a mix of stars, hearts and moons. Okay, three more of these, these other packets. Um, I'm sure I've got at least one of these, but I couldn't remember, so I got them all. Um, this one is pink. It's holographic, they call it Zodiac for some reason. This one is purple. And red. And so the last tubes that I got are all glitters. So the first one I showed you was a medium. And this one's fine. This one is a hollow red. It's like a blackened red, but it's holographic and it looks like it's got some kind of silver in it as well. I don't know. It might look different when it's swatched. This is just no better than my phone. We knew I wanted to give that a go. So these are the two super finds that I got. This is a holographic lime, and of course it's not showing up holographic here, but it is. And this one is just a metallic salmon. I thought that was a really cool colour. It's called salmon. So those two are the super fine, and then I got one of the large. And this one is hollow black. So they are hexes. So what I would call them small hexes. So yeah, holographic black. So anyway, that's what I picked up from Lincraft. So I don't know if any of these bleed. Um, I'm hoping not. They don't return things unless they're defective. So I'm wondering whether bleeding glitter would be considered defective. I don't know. You know, I'm going to have to give it a go. I'm still a bit devastated with my reject shop glitters. These are the results. The two golds, there's two silvers and the turquoise, fine. Pink, big sloppy mess. Anyway, thank you very much for what... Oh, hang on a minute. Um, the postie just walked in before I started this video and there's my Revolve clothing order. Now, um... This was a mixed bag because I wanted to get um, Revolve Stock, Revolve Stocks both Butter London and Deborah Lipman. And of course, it let me put all the Butter Londons in my cart. It let me check out, it debited my credit card. But then of course you get the message saying that we're going to cancel the request because we can't ship Butter London internationally. Kiss and Makeup New York do. They won't ship Deborah Lippman now, which I'm glad I stocked up when I did. But they won't ship Butter London anymore. So I got some of the newer Deborah Lippman ones. At least they went through. And the good thing about Revolve is if you spend over $100, which if you're buying butters and Lippmans, it's easy to do. You get free shipping. I don't think they charged us shipping because they sort of mucked up a little bit because it wasn't very clear that they didn't ship butters internationally. But anyway, um, so it came like this. I've just got this. So there's only three Lipmans in here. It's got some weird sticker over the box. And I wanted to try the holographic ones. So this one's called Sweet Dreams. Come on, focus you guys. Maybe there's not enough light. Maybe I'm casting a shadow. No. Anyway. See, there you go. Look at all that. How absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful colour for spring and summer. And that sort of flash is a greeny orangey. It's basically flakies, but really small ones. Flashes the greeny orangey um, colour. So the next one, it's packaged the same, and this one is Ray of Light, which is the other one from the Flaky range. I can't remember what they call them, they're the name, they don't call them Flakies, they call them something else. So there we go, Ray of Light, and look at that, look at that. 
50. I could totally wear this now in winter. That is awesome. And then the last one I got, they packaged a bit differently. It's sort of wrapped in the plastic and it's the um, the chrome ones. It's from their chrome whatever. I don't know what they call them. There were three in the collection and I was so tempted to pick up all of them. But I think I've already got some that were quite similar to the other two. Uh, not one of them, not necessarily chrome. There was one that was a dupe of Chanel's Peridot and the Spider-Man one. Except I think out of those three, um, Chanel Peridot and the Spider-Man one um, are probably even nicer. So anyway, this one is called Private Dancer and it's the purple chrome. And I mean, I've read countless reviews and looked at countless swatches. And I thought, well, if I can't see them in person and swatch them in person, it's safest just to pick up this one. Because I've already, I've already got the Spider-Man. I think it's called Just Spotted the Lizard. Because I missed out on getting the, um, the Chanel Peridot. My sister checked last week. She was in the US. And they said, oh, we don't make it anymore. But that's not what I've heard. So, anyway. No Peridot for me. But I think the Spider-Man one is quiet quite a good substitute from what I've seen um, yeah so thank you for watching and hmm, I think I might change my mind maybe about what I was going to put on my nails but then I had a Deborah Lippmann one on last time anyway I thought I wanted to have a play with some cone adding ah too much choice um, anyway yes if I thought I had a glitter problem I've got a bigger nail problem Polish problem. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and